Hello and welcome everyone. This is Mohammed Inzamam from Sai Mehta Estate Coaching Center, Koti, Hyderabad. Sai Mehta, Koti, Hyderabad is providing free of cost YouTube video lectures for previous ESET examination questions from the effective faculties of Sai Mehta, Koti, Hyderabad. My dear students, in these video lectures, every single day for all the branches EC, EEE, Mechanical, Civil, and Computers, for all the branches, every single day we are updating PYQs, previous ESET examination questions. So what are you waiting for, guys? Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates. Day update just from my dear students in the era of where people are making everything as a business Sai Medha Koti Hyderabad is giving the coaching for online ESET 2024-2025 offline ESET 2024-2025 key when I'm coaching already new admission new batches and already start open I'm Eero Jullo where 10th class admissions are going to be for month effective faculty slow home tuitions Kuda per month ever ever in a sare thousand rupees cut it a quantity charge here in Chala custom effective faculties reputed uh, institutes law reputed uh, uh, experience to now faculty members of the 10th class home tuitions this call and a sare per month they'll be definitely charging minimum thousand rupees around today uh, in and around for one year you'll be getting a payment of around how much twelve thousand. For SSE home tuition itself, if you are paying 12,000 guys, Thai Medha Koti Hyderabad is providing one and a half year coaching, two years coaching, three years coaching. Thai Medha Koti Hyderabad lo coaching and first year diploma in which start happening. Second year diploma students start typing. Third year diploma students start typing. Three years course under the two years course under the one year course under the Alanti the total courses you could have a put of another graphies ready 10,000 that live. And the Kuda Mali merit to betty. Percentages wise, concessions with the economically backward everything under Walani encourage Jalino Desham though minimum fees though maximum concessions though Sai Meda Kodi Hyderabad is providing every year coaching results. Vishani Kose, you know it, guys. Every single year, top five branches low state first ranks to Paduga maximum ranks was secured by Sai Meda Kodi Hyderabad only. So, my dear students, what are you waiting for? ESET 2024, ESET 2025, ESET 2026. Coaching has been started in the Sai Meda Kodi Hyderabad. Effective coaching is coming expertised faculties in the coaching is Digitally recorded video classes in a systematic pattern low coaching we are providing both online and as well as offline. So what are you waiting for guys? Download the app saimeda.in and press the bell icon to be notified for the every updates. Uh, every single day we are going to be updating in the YouTube channel. Subscribe the channel, press the bell icon to be notified. Download the app saimeda.in and uh, scrolling on the mobile numbers key contact journey and join now in Saimeda Koti Hyderabad. At the end of the video, I'll come back one more time for some more information. Till then guys, watch the video now. Hi hey everyone, in this video I am going to discuss uh, solutions of uh, previous ESET questions. And these questions we have collected from one topic that uh, topic name uh, is a Boolean Algebra and KMAP. So finally, we have collected all these questions from the previous ESET uh, CSC paper, right? So all these are collected from the CSC branch previous ESET questions. And from which topic? Boolean Algebra and KMAPs, right? Okay, uh, first of all, go through the question. This question given in 2012. Uh, what is the simplified form of the given boolean expression yes so just we have to write a simplified form of the given boolean expression right so just write like this x plus y plus x y uh, is x plus z see try to uh, go through the video lectures first of all please watch all video lectures there uh, we have discussed uh, different uh, methods and boolean theorems and all those so first of all you have to watch those video those videos right uh, then simplify here. Uh, what is the simplified form of the given Boolean expression? So that purpose, see here, uh, just I'm applying here absorption theorem. Okay, x plus x y is there. So if you apply the absorption theorem, this becomes now y plus x. We can remove this y here. Sorry, absorption theorem also not required. Then uh, I'm taking x common from this here. Okay, x plus uh, y. I'm taking common now. One plus x. One plus x becomes here one. Right. So finally, what is the result here? X plus Y is there. Then this side X plus Z is given. Then apply uh, transposition theorem. So X, X multiplies and Y, Y multiplies. So it becomes now X plus Y, Z. So this one is the answer. Uh, yeah, go through the options. So option 3 satisfies. So according to the given question, option 3 correct. Right? Please take this now. Yeah, another question from the Boolean algebra and KMAP. This question given in ESET uh, 2013. Right, first of all, go through the question. Consider the following Boolean function of four variables. 
right uh, okay so four variables are there and one sop function is given sum of given right sigma m 1 2 4 6 9 11 12 14 the function is independent of one variable independent of two variables independent of three variables dependent on uh, all three variables right so okay first of all we have to write the simplified uh, simplified uh, expression of the given problem right because the boolean function of four variables are given so to identify the independent and dependent uh, variables so we have to simplify the given expression that purpose i am taking now k map so how many number of variables it has four variables so write four variable k map here four variable k map and variable names wx y z then write the combination 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 then the given combinations are 1 2 4 7 okay 1 yeah 2 and uh, 4 6 uh, okay 1 more 9 8 9 10 11 and uh, 12 13 14 15 right these are the given numbers okay once again we have to check here okay 1 2 1 2 4 5 6 uh, right next 9 8 9 10 11 11 is this one next uh, 12 13 14 15 yes so these are the numbers so now we have to write the simplified equation so that purpose uh, we have to apply mapping technique here right so using this mapping uh, these four axes one quad let us take some other color right this part is x as one quad right and uh, it has a uh, two pairs okay so here it has one pair and this one matches by this one so two pairs and one more pair we can write here also totally it consists three pairs and one quad so first of all try to write those simplified e equation that simplified equation consists okay let us take this color uh, I am writing first of all quad equation. So quad covers the two rows and two columns. These two rows representation one here. So I am writing x uh, and two columns 0, 0, 1, 0 that is z bar x z bar plus right. And uh, let us take this pair. This pair I am writing now 1, 0 w x bar and from these two columns we can write z directly plus and from this one this pair. 0, 0, 1, 0 is there, so we can write x bar and uh, here 0, 1, y bar, z plus, plus next one this way, so 0, 0, 0, 1, so that should be w bar, right, and 1, 0, that is uh, y, z bar. So finally, uh, I wrote the complete simplified equation, just try to uh, observe the terms, right? Uh, each term is defined by the uh, how many number of variables. So here it consists two variables x and z. Just I am writing now w x y z. So x and z are defined. Here w and x and z is there. And in this case uh, x y z also there. And w bar y z bar also there. So now we can write here this complete equation depends on all variables, not. Uh, uh, yeah, we have to take compulsory four variables. Okay, so according to the given options, independent of one variable is given, so we won't take this one. Two and three also we won't take, but we can write this one dependent on all the variables. After simplification, the simplified expression consists all variables, so that from that we can write now dependence on all variables. So according to the given question, which option correct now? Fourth option correct, right? Please take this now. Yes, uh, another question from the Boolean algebra. This question given in ACT 2013. What will be the value of function f? x plus y is equal to x bar dot y bar. Yes, just we have to simplify that. x plus y dot is equal to x bar y bar. So, if you multiply these two, x, uh, x dot x bar becomes 0 plus uh, here y dot y bar becomes 0 so finally the expression becomes here 0 because here dot operation is there so what is an, uh, which answer correct now 
option 0 okay option 1 correct according to the given question right please take this now yeah another question from the boolean algebra this question given in ESET 2014 applying de morgan's theorem to the expression a b c whole bar we will get so just apply the de morgan's theorem here a b c whole bar is equal to a bar plus b bar plus c bar so de morgan's theorems are used to convert Com total variable into individual uh, sorry total complement into individual complements so if you apply that then the expression is a bar plus b bar plus c bar from the given options which one it satisfies yeah a bar plus b bar plus c so first option satisfies so according to the given question option one correct right please take this now yeah another question uh, from the boolean algebra first of all go through the question which statement below best describes a k map so corner map right uh, go through the options a k map can be used to replace boolean rules yes this is also one type of technique of boolean rules but we have to arrange uh, all the possible combinations in terms of tables like rows and columns okay then uh, second option is given the k map eliminates the need for using nand and nor gate so this one is wrong uh, okay, because uh, best statement way out, right? Generally, K maps and Boolean algebra, all these are used to uh, reduce the number of gates. That means, uh, which is used to minimize the Boolean expression, right? Uh, so, go to the third one now. Variable complements can be eliminated by using K maps. So, variable complements, this is also not possible. And fourth one. Cordon map provides a cookbook approach to the simplifying Boolean expression. Yes, uh, yeah, use it to replace Boolean rules. Okay, we can write uh, fourth option, right? Cordon map provides a cookbook approach to simplifying Boolean expression. So, uh, if any Boolean expression is given to simplify that Boolean expression, here we have to use rows and columns uh, representation, right? So, we can select the fourth option. And first option C, a corner map can be used to replace Boolean rules. Yeah, this one is used to replace the Boolean rules. So, we can take first option, but uh, corner map uh, consists compulsory rows and columns. So, that point went not mentioned here. So, according to the given statement, so the best we want here, best describes, right? So, option 4 we can take. So, option 4 is the correct answer according to the given question right please take this now yeah now the given expression is a c plus a b c bar so we can take like this c plus a b c bar so just we have to apply absorption theorem here uh, from the absorption theorem statement uh, x plus x bar y is equal to we can write now x plus y here so x complement is defined here so we can remove this from that statement uh, just i want to remove this c bar here so then finally what is the simplified equation a b plus c right so this one is the simplified equation a b plus c so from the given options which one it satisfy this equation that part you have to check now first of all i am taking the first one now a bar c plus a b plus a b bar c now see from these two just i am taking a common right a bar c i am keeping as it is and here i am taking a common if it takes a common the remaining part should be b plus uh, b bar c again here you have to apply absorption theorem so then the b bar is eliminated uh, then the expression consists only a b plus a c then this side it has a bar c now from these two we can take c common right if you take c common what is the remaining part a plus a bar a plus a bar is a one so then we can write now a b plus c so now it satisfies this equation right so according to the given question we can write now option one is equivalent to this one so option one correct answer right please take this now another question from the boolean algebra and k map uh, so this question given in ts is at exam 2015 first of all go through the question the boolean expression of n variables a1 yeah uh, yeah this symbol's meaning is given here where this symbol represents and operation and this symbol represents not operation okay the symbol represents the not operation and the symbol represents the uh, and operation. First of all, I am writing that part now. A1 and A1 bar and A2 and A2 bar 
and and so on up to a n dot a n bar. So this value becomes zero because a dot a bar should be always zero only, right? A dot a bar. So a one dot a one bar is always zero. So zero dot something should be zero. So then it gives the zero. Then uh, this equation equal to equal to zero, right? This equation equal to zero is the correct answer. But uh, zero option is not there, so we can write false because false is equivalent to the zero representation. True means according to the or positive logic, we have to write true as a one and false as a zero. So we can write false, uh, right? So that is zero only. So finally, the answer is zero. So according to the given question, only option two will satisfy. Right? Please take this now. Yes. Another question from the TSSA 2015 paper. Uh, the simplification of the Boolean expression. Yes, one Boolean expression is given. Just we have to uh, write the simplification of this. So first of all, I want to write the expression now. A bar dot B dot C bar and whole bar plus A B bar C whole bar. So just here we have to apply De Morgan's theorems, right? De Morgan's theorem uh, statements explains x dot y whole bar is equal to x bar plus y bar. So from that, I'm applying here individually bar representations. A bar already there, so one more bar plus uh, B bar plus uh, C double bar plus. This side I'm writing now. A bar plus uh, B bar whole bar plus uh, C bar, right? So, if any expression has two times uh, complement, then that uh, complements will cancel. So, we can write directly here A plus B bar plus C plus A bar plus uh, B plus uh, C bar. Now, from this here, we can write A plus A bar is a 1. A plus A bar is 1. Then 1 plus something should be always 1. So, finally, the simplified answer is 1 here. Then go through the options. So, which option satisfies? So, 1 because here true also given. So, option 2 will satisfy. Right. Please take this now. Yeah, another question from the Boolean algebra and KMAP. Uh, this question given in AP set exam 2016. Uh, when reading a Boolean expression, what does word not indicate? Not indicates the always a uh, uh, inverter operation. Right. Inverter operation means here. Uh, according to the analog circuits, we can write 180 degree phase shift and uh, according to the uh, distal analysis, we can write positive becomes negative, negative becomes positive, 0 becomes 1 and 1 becomes 0. So, all these are comes under inversion concept, right? So, when reading a Boolean expression, what does the word not indicate? So, that is inversion. So, we can write now inversion option 1 correct according to the given question, right? Please take this now. Yeah, another question from the Boolean algebra, the Boolean expression a bar b plus a b bar plus a b is equivalent to, right. See, one simple equation is given here, a bar b plus a b bar plus a b is equivalent to, right. First of all, we have to simplify this. Uh, I am taking a variable common from these two, then it gives the b plus b bar, right. b plus b bar becomes here, 1 and the remaining expression is a plus a bar b is there, a plus a bar b. Otherwise, uh, we can take from these two b common so then the a plus a bar becomes one so finally which gives the a plus b only because here we can apply absorption theorem so the simplified expression consists a plus b so which option correct now only option four correct according to the given question right please take this now yes uh, another question from the boolean algebra concept this question given in ats is at uh, 2016 what is the simplified expression with a uh, minimum number of literals for the given function. What is the simplified expression with the minimum number of literals? Minimum number of literals for the given expression. So, we have to take the minimum literals only. Minimum number of literals only, right? Uh, yeah, the given question is x bar y bar z is there plus uh, x y bar z plus uh, x y z, right? Okay, uh, from these two we can take uh, x z common. So, right here x z plus uh, and uh, from these two we can take y bar z common so here we can write y bar z right x plus x bar becomes 1 so can we simplify this one now it's not possible so this one is a simplified answer then go through the options x z plus y bar z x z plus y bar z yeah that option is not there and we have to check for other uh, op uh, other options okay any other possibilities 
y bar z we can take common and uh, yeah x z we can take common from these two from these two yes only this one is a possibility right x z plus y bar z we want so we want simplified expression with minimum number of literals for the given function so minimum number of literals consists only this one only x z plus y bar z uh, yes uh, y bar z is given here here x z is not possible ok so write the answer now that is x z plus y bar z this one is the correct answer according to the given question right? please take this now yeah according to the given question just we have to write the identity syllable so identity syllable explain this one right x plus x is equal to x so uh, a function becomes uh, a function itself right so that is called identity syllable so then x plus x is x uh, so according to the given question option 3 correct uh, right please take this now yeah another question from the ts is at exam 2016 paper how many number of boolean functions can be formed with three variables so number of boolean functions here right that is nothing but number of boolean equations so using a uh, n variables the possible boolean functions are 2 to the power of 2 to the power of n so now here a number is given that is 3 using this we can write 2 power 2 power 3 that is 2 power 8 2 power 8 is a number 256 so we can prepare totally 256 expressions here right so the number of possible boolean expressions are 256 uh, according to the given question option 3 correct right please take this now yes one more question from the boolean algebra this question given in TAC set exam 2016 paper uh, the systematic reduction of logic circuits is accomplished by yes systematic reduction of logic circuits okay systematic reduction of logic circuit is explained by the using boolean algebra symbolic reduction ttl logic using two table so we can reduce uh, the complete circuit using boolean algebra and one more technique also there came up but according to the given option only one option will satisfy so according to the given question option one correct right please take this now yeah one more question from the boolean algebra uh, this question given in tac set exam 2016 just first of all go through the question which one of the following uh, following boolean expression is not logically equivalent to all other expressions okay which one of the following boolean expressions is not equal not logically equivalent to all other expressions yes uh, okay w plus okay go through the options w plus x plus y bar plus z bar right this this is access one term min term right and uh, w x plus w y bar plus w z z bar so if it takes a w common here w common if it takes w common from this then we can write x plus y bar plus z bar and here this one if it takes w common then it is equal to x plus y bar plus y z bar is there so we can remove that y so then it gives the z bar and uh, from this yeah w w okay if it takes w from this common the remaining function is x y bar plus z bar plus x y z plus y bar z and try to simplify the internal part now uh, yeah here z bar is uh, if you if you apply the absorption theorem then we can remove this z then uh, so z bar and again if you apply the redder, uh, redden, uh, sorry this one absorption theorem here if you apply the absorption theorem z bar plus using this x plus x bar y then we can remove this then we can write x plus y right so from that here z bar is there and y bar z bar is there so we can remove the z here next uh, uh, x plus y plus y bar z is there so again we can apply absorption theorem here so we can remove y and uh, here uh, if it takes uh, this part okay this this part again I am writing w plus uh, uh, so I am taking y bar common from these two if it takes y bar common from these two then it becomes a uh, 1 plus x that becomes 1 only so y bar is the part and z bar plus x okay so now see here this expression uh, simplified equation consists w into x plus y bar plus z bar 
and this one also gives the same x plus y bar plus z bar and this one also see first three options are similar equations same equations but this one is different here it is a w plus is given so it is not equal to into right. So just we have to identify which one of the following Boolean expression is not e logically equivalent to all other expressions only this one is not equal to remaining three expressions so according to the given question option 4 correct right yes please take this now. So thank you very much guys for watching this video till the end uh, uh, definitely this video has been uh, improvised your subject knowledge and definitely given you an idea about how the previous ESET examination question is getting up here. Again one more time guys if video ni miru nachite kachitanga like jayandi share jayandi subscribe jayandi and press the bell icon to be notified for the further more updates guys. Uh, Admissions and the already start up in a ESET 2024, ESET 2025, ESET 2026. First year, second year, third year, already ESET coaching and the online coaching and offline coaching new batches is going to be started guys so my dear students what are you waiting for download the app saimeda.in make any doubts unna sare mana scrolling lona mobile numbers ki contact jayandi join now in saimeda koti hyderabad thank you very much this is mohammed inzamam signing off